In this week's video, we are making a survival spear. So to make this survival spear, we just need a couple things. A good knife, and we need a sapling that's pretty straight. And then we also need some kind of cordage, and uh, we'll show you how to put it together. For a survival spear, you need a sapling that is straight and is as tall or taller than you are. I think I have what we need here. All right, guess it's my turn to try. So you can see we're chopping this at a fairly steep angle and we're being careful not to hit the ground. I'll show you why we're doing that. We don't have a saw with us right now, but uh, if you have a saw, it'll make it a lot easier. But if you don't and you chop it like this, you're gonna sharpen one point anyways. So, kind of getting part of that started here while we're chopping. So now that we've got our sapling, now we need to remove any uh, branches off of there. And because they don't feel like chopping through there again, this time we got a saw. Yeah, full disclosure, I'm being lazy. <laughs> so this is a sapling. We've cut all the branches off. We cut this end flat. Now you could sharpen this end as well. This will be the back. We could sharpen that as well. Uh, then you'd have two points on it. I'm putting my point at the, the thicker end, so the heavier end. So I'm thinking we're going to want our thicker end, our heavier end, with more weight to be uh, where our point is. So that's why we're doing it this way. So from here we're just going to sharpen this end. So we've got our point on our stick now and uh, we're actually going to split this in this direction and then the other direction so we get a total of four points on here not just one i'd also like to point out at this time why we chose the stick that's a little bit taller why you would want a stick that's a little bit taller than yourself and that is quite simple uh, if you're carrying this through the woods and you happen to fall with it or something like that you want it to be higher than yourself so you don't hit yourself that's the idea if it was this tall and I could fall on it pretty easily, hit myself in the eye, you know, whatever, or if it's shorter yet. So you want it to be taller than yourself, it's more of a safety issue. So we're gonna split the stick in two directions to get our total of four points, but in order to do that, to keep the stick from uh, continuing to split down, what do we need to do with it? We're gonna wrap it with 550 cord to stop it from splitting. So we've got a length of cord here that's maybe, I don't know, six feet long. Of course, I don't think we need all that. We're gonna stay roughly eight inches down from you know, where we'd like our split to stop. And we're gonna move the cord anyway, so we don't need any fancy knots. We need a knot that's gonna be simple to take out. And we just need to basically 
stop the split from splitting down further. We don't want to split the stick all the way. So yeah, that's all we're doing at this point. Okay, one thing we're discovering pretty quickly, you don't want a sharp, sharp tip to get started. It makes your knife go all over the place. So I cut that sharp tip off. Now it's, it's a little bit flat, so we'll have to sharpen a little bit more. The idea of sharpening this uh, before we split it is that we won't have to sharpen as much and it won't be as difficult to sharpen these four individual pieces uh, once it's split. So there's one split, go the other way. Stick. All right, there we are. We now have four splits. One of them is kind of a joke. Uh, <laughs> the knife turned and it kind of split funny. I think I'm just going to take that off. So we're going to end up with three instead of the uh, that we wanted. From here you would want two pieces roughly the size of a pencil and you would stick them down you know if we had four points you stick one one way and one the other way to spread them out and uh, unfortunately we just have three points so we can't really do that so what we want for ours is more of a Y shape something like that and we're gonna try that we're gonna see how that does for us. All right, so there's our points again. And like I say, if we had four pieces, we, we just take two sticks, one this way, one the other way, and spread these apart. But since one of them broke off for us, we're gonna try it anyway with three, you know, this little Y piece. And you wedge it in, and you're just trying to hold these out separate. Just like that. We'll use 554 to lash this so it doesn't come out, and then we'll sharpen the points. Yep. Go ahead and tie a knot there. Just like... Yeah, square knot. Real good and tight. Take them real tight. Super tight. Pull it hard. All right, we've got it wrapped on there pretty tight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go under this one and over this one under here and then we'll end up over on here and we want to go under the next one and then over and then under again as long as we can and then we'll stop and we'll just want to keep it super tight as we go. I think that's good enough. We'll stop there. I'm going to pull it out as tight as I can. I'm going to wrap that little stick. That way it holds. We're going to tie off our knot right here, and then we'll cut the rest of the line. You know, we started with six feet of rope, and I said we probably wouldn't use it all. <laughs> There's probably 18 inches that we didn't use. So, yeah, um, maybe that's a little much, but... It actually seems to be working good here. So yeah, six feet is not too much. So here's our survival spear. So we've got uh, three uh, points on there and we could sharpen those up and we should sharpen those up a little bit, get them back to a good, nice point. Uh, you preferably would have four, but you know, you'd stick a stick this way and then this way and your fourth one would be up here. And the idea is to hold them apart, and you can use this to spear things like fish. Say you want to spear some fish, and we have all our weight in the front. We're going to try to throw it and see how it throws. Okay, so here's our completed survival spear. Three points. But yeah, we're going to throw it now, see how it flies. We're going to throw this way. I'm going to throw into this little hill back here.
damage, right? We go. I think the ground is actually pretty hard so if we really had to uh, use this for hunting if we would hit something whatever we would hit uh, we would have it basically so yeah there we go and if you'd like to toughen up your uh, spear points you can uh, hold them over the fire if you have a campfire going you hold them over the fire and let it kind of basically roast them and that helps harden them or another thing you can do if you have a good amount of coals, you can stick the tips into the coals. You don't want it to catch on fire. You're just trying to kind of toast the outside of the wood, help make it tougher, and it'll harden it. So you forgot to sharpen the tips, didn't you? Yeah, in the video. Well, I'm gonna sharpen them now. It is harder to sharpen them when you have four pieces here. That's why I like to sharpen them first. Now I can make them sharp once again. It really helps a lot to do that initial sharpening. I think so. There you go. Sharp as can be. They could probably get sharper. Sharp enough. I'm gonna try that again. Airplane going overhead. It's all the airplane's fault. Go fishing with it? Yeah. I don't know. You gonna go hunt and get us some dinner? No, that's your job. It's my job. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and hit that like button if you haven't done so already. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every week, every Friday morning. And if you'd like to receive notifications when we do upload the next video, hit that notification bell. And check out our channel. We have several videos just like this one or very similar. We do various things including hiking, biking, boating, fishing, builds of various kinds, mostly outdoor activities. Some homesteading is thrown in there as well. This channel is for the experience. We do these things for the experience of doing them and to show others how you can do it too. We try to be fun and entertaining while being educational all at the same time. Sometimes these experiences are done for the first time and other times they're things that we do all the time. Sometimes we do things just for the fun of doing it. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.